Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, today, I'm going to be doing a Monty Booker tutorial. Um, it's just going to be a quick walkthrough of my whole process and how I do everything. Um, I've gotten a lot of people been asking me to do this, so I thought I'd give it a go. And yeah, let's just get into it. Before we start doing anything, I'd recommend a sample pack for this video or literally any Monty Booker um, type beat you're trying to make. I'd recommend getting the Cass Volume 1 on uh, sample pack on SoundCloud. Um, you can find it on the SoundCloud. Um, so you'll be able to get it there. I'll also link it into the description as well. If anybody is uh, wanting to uh, purchase it for themselves. Um, other than that, let's get into it. Alright, so first we have the chords. Um, usually when you're making a Monty Booker song, you kind of want to use ninth chords. Uh, mainly ninth chords you can use 11th chords seventh chords but I definitely recommend ninth chords because for some reason he seems to uh, use those kind of chords a lot so well, here's an example uh, progression that we're going to use that will essentially use throughout the whole entire beat I'll play it So yeah, that's the the chords. Um, this for the specific sound design of it. Um, basically, with any Monty Booker song uh, or beat, uh, you kind of just want like a very simple kind of sound, but what you know, lots of texture around it, like. Um, just like a simple sine wave um, in Serum of course as far as effects go on this I just put an RC20 on it uh, um, some retro it's called retro game mono Added, added some space to it, um, added a multi-band, multi-band compressor, compressor, uh, I'd have it on bright, um, add some more reverb, um, limiter for sidechain to the kick, um here's another set of chords yeah so basically this sound is just a uh future bass kind of synth so if you have any of uh any of those on you in serum any kind of like future bass like wub sound uh i just use that it doesn't really matter um i didn't really have any effects on here um just side chained it to the kick um next sound Oh yeah, this is um, a pretty big part of what gets you this kind of like glitchy kind of vibe. Uh, it's basically, what I did is I just used this simple uh, saw wave, um, made it into a pluck, decreased the decay and sustain. And, uh, sustain. Um, 
instead of making it a normal arpeggio, I click this random, this question mark right here, basically just makes it like random. It plays random notes in a random order basically within these chords. So it gives you this like kind of unpredictable flume-esque kind of sound. Um, something like that. Um, okay, here's another uh, pretty important sound. Oh, wait, no. Um, yeah, this is basically just the same thing, um, the same sine wave preset, but just with a LFO, uh, with some LFO on it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's basically, you know, when it comes down to the chords, the basic, I mean, that's the gist of it, really not as complex as you think, and it's really not as complex as it sounds. It's just about using a ton of, like, textures and fully to make it sound, I guess, more complex and, uh, you know, in depth than it actually does. So anybody can really make a, or if you're a somewhat experienced producer, you could make something like this. Um, as far as drums go, oops, let me turn off the reverb real quick. Yeah, so let's get into that. Um, fairly simple uh, kick pattern, just. It's a clap pattern, but feel free. In this particular beat, I didn't use it, but feel free to turn up this uh, shift knob, which will slightly delay the claps by a few milliseconds this will basically make your beat feel more uh more like a jay dilla kind of style kind of like um laid back swung if you want something like that it's always an option um you don't have to i did this with the uh the perk sounds um so i did it with a few uh percussion elements but yeah so it's just uh a few more um perks that I basically, yeah, I pulled out of the Monty Booker kit that I got from uh, the Kenny Beats Discord. Um, or was it, I, it might have been the Monty Booker Discord, I don't remember, but. Yeah, just a lot of like uh, spontaneous, random, um, kind of uh, per, uh, perk sounds just everywhere you can get really creative with it 
there's really no kind of like set in stone way you should make your drums on a Monty Booker beat. Same thing with this. Uh, it's just like a laser kind of sound that's pretty good. Um, I, I'd recommend kind of just uh, messing with the velocity a little bit you know, to keep things interesting. Um, like laser sounds. Okay, here's the kick. Um, the kick can, like, honestly go wherever you feel like it where it should be like it doesn't have to be like the kicks in a monty booker song get pretty cr crazy the kicks in relation with the claps on a monty booker beat you could like do some really you know unique stuff you don't just have to go you know have to place a clap every bar you know, you could just do some crazy variation, but honestly, it's fairly simple for, you know, what kind of beat this is. So, here's all the drums put together. Speaking of that, I... Speaking of more drums, I forgot to mention, uh, this kind of sound right here. What I basically did for the drop, I just chopped it up, um, kind of a few times around. Um, so this is pretty interesting. I think this is what gives it. The, this beat the most uh, texture so I'm trying to remember I think I got it from this sample pack right here the wave sample pack um, I could also link this in the description as well um, what I basically did is I just on the drum rack I aligned all of these glitch sounds uh, into 16th notes um so it gives it this really interesting like texture basically so this is what it sounds like just use you know if you have any foley sounds laying around or anything like that um just put it in there because it's all about the texture really it's really that's what it all comes down to um the bass um for the bass it doesn't have to be too crazy um what it basically does the bass is just following the uh bass notes of the chords um fairly simple I got another bass sound I know that was it okay so feel free to use an 808 if you want but for this particular beat I use this really actually really good bass plugin um, yeah Tau T-A-L uh, Elec 7RO uh, it's a really good bass plugin um, but you can also just use any like unique sounding 808 the bait most basses in monty booker songs are fairly subtle um so you don't really have to get too crazy with that um another thing that you'll recognize in a monty booker beat is his um 
vocal chops or any like vox sample that he uses so i'll get into that um i can probably also put this sound in the description as well um yeah uh just like some reverb on here other than that i don't think there's anything else Yeah, so that's what we have for the uh, the vocal chops. Um, you can really get crazy with it if you want. Um, and then I guess I just I'm gonna talk about any other extra sounds. So I can talk about the intro real quick um so what the intro basically is is this uh <laughs> trying to find it Okay, yeah. Um Yeah, so what I basically did for the intro is I just kind of extended the same chords that I was using these ninth chords you can look at it real quick if you want to copy the progression but what I basically did is I just extended it out uh, kind of you know to make it more I guess atmospheric I automated um, RC20 I basically all I did was I added basically what I did was I increased the space and shortened the focus to give this more like roomy type of reverb sound um, so here's what it sounds like Yeah, so I put another uh, synth sound under that e, um, that weird ARP thing kind of going on. It's basically kind of like a super saw, you could say. Um, Yeah, um, really, it kind of just fades in, I just automated the volume to fade in, um, uh, other sounds, this, uh, of course, this is at the intro, instead of being chopped up, I just played the whole entire sample, um, Oh yeah, basically just more weird, essentially just more weird uh, vocal vox kind of samples. Um, got it from the Wooey Futon sample pack, so again, I'd recommend getting some samples from that. You don't have to, but it's an option. Um...
I honestly don't remember where I got that sample from, but it's basically kind of just like an impact or like a down lifter sound. Um, of course, you have my producer tag. Logics. Logics. Yeah, I mean, obviously that doesn't need to be in there. I just do it just to add my own flair to the beat. Um, this uplifter sound right here. <laughs> Reversing kind of sounds or any like weird kind of uh, creepy reverse samples uh, is like definitely something I'd recommend for a Monty Booker beat because I definitely hear stuff like that like he reverses a lot of his kicks for example um, you know a lot of like uh, melodic samples he reverses anything like that so any reverse sound I'd recommend using um, so right before the drop, I have this from, I think it's from a medicine sample pack. Uh, I just automated the wet level on the reverb. <laughs> and then just go straight into the drop. Um, now, I think the most complicated thing about this beat is the structure of everything. Um, so the main thing that, obviously you don't have to copy this beat, you know, note by note, you know, sample by sample. It's more like a general outline for a Monty Booker beat you're trying to create, but what I think I would recommend doing is just kind of chopping up the structure and just uh, using a lot of different synths at different places a lot of different variation kind of like all over the place so like for example I'll play it real quick <laughs> Like how from here, this certain chord is just the future bass kind of sounding chord. And then it kind of pauses for a moment, goes into this next little drop where that texture arp that I explained er earlier uh, plays. And then there's some chords under it. I think it's this. Yeah, it's the it's the uh, that one sine sound, uh, sine wave. Um, of course, what this beat basically does is it has a lot of pauses, or like kind of like a still, dull kind of areas. And then it moves into the part where it has sound. It gets like really, really textured, if that makes sense. Like you kind of have this like crazy kind of like texture sound right here. Yeah. And then you kind of have this pause kind of like, not exactly a pause, but essentially just like a, a little break um, that's basically the main idea of this beat where essentially that I'm doing is I'm just kind of stopping and going in terms of like uh, sound um, Yeah, I mean, structure it however you want. Um, 
You got some sounds down here, of course. <laughs> just layered synths and weird textures arpeggios um so yeah guys that's the gist of this beat if you uh found this to be helpful leave a comment down below um if you have any questions i'd be glad to answer them um i'm sorry if this tutorial wasn't as in depth as I was trying to make it but I kind of just wanted to do like a more like a an example you know to kind of just give you like a I don't know an outline to make Monty Booker style beats in the future so I hope this somewhat helps so um yeah, I don't know if I'll be making any more tutorials after this. This might be the only one I make. But if you want to see more tutorials, I'd be glad to make more. So, All right. I think that's it. Okay, bye guys.